Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be talking about what items you should purchase in the process of being um, commissioned as a notary and signing agent. So the first uh, item we'll go with is um, your notary stamp. So on the NNA website, if you get the full package, you can I think you can add a notary stamp to um, that package. If you do not want to get that um, notary stamp, because I think it's a little bit more expensive than what you would get on Amazon or anywhere else. But um, you can go to Amazon, and uh, you'll need to be you need to have your um, your expiration date, um, your number. Uh, when they when they give you your commission, they'll give you your number in your name and think I think that's the only three items that you need your name commission number and your expiration date and the expiration date uh, it'll be five years from the date that you were um, commissioned so um, you also need to get a printer I have a brother printer printer slash scanner you can buy them separate if you like but I just purchased mine together I think my printer was close to $300, I think. Um, you'll need paper, legal paper, and letter paper. Uh, you'll need uh, ink, a tonal cartridge for your printer. You will need uh, page markers. Um, these are little, this is like a little page marker, but they come as like half the size. The one I have is like half the size. And you just mark your documents with it. The ones like when on the pages that you have a signature you mark those pages um, so you won't have to go page by page you just go marker by marker letting your uh, signers sign the pages um, you also need folders you have letter size folders and legal size folders and the reason that you will need the letter size folders and the legal size folders they'll ask you to print some documents letter size and they'll ask you to print some documents um, the legal size. Um, and that way, when you get ready to separate them, um, you have your stack of documents and you have the documents that you're giving the signers. And you'll put the stack that you are um, giving to the signers, you'll put that in the folders to separate it. That's just how I get it. You may come up with a different technique. Uh, but you'll also need the letter and legal size envelopes, like the little plastic, clear, matte colored uh, envelopes. And you can put the ones that you will have them to sign in those. Just just, just distinguish uh, which ones uh, you'll be keeping and the one you'll be giving to them. Uh, you can get a thumbprint uh, ink thing. And you know, it's just like a little round round thing that you put your thumb on. Some states require it. Some states do not require it. And some people just like to do it anyway. Um, also, you'll need, uh, of course, since COVID is going on, we need our mask. And um, some people wear them, some people don't. I personally do. Um, you need hand sanitizer. Um, you'll also need ink pens, blue ink, black ink pens. Um, and get enough to where if you leave some at like the signer's home, it's okay. Um, also, you need the binder, the binder clips to uh, hold your documents together. You um, you need the small ones and you need the large ones. But some documents are like maybe five pages, and I have had some up to two hundred plus pages. So it's just up to you. And also, um, you also, last but not least, and I may be leaving something out, and if I am, I will talk about it in another video, but um, your notary bag. You need your notary bag to store all your items in. Uh, I have one with different compartments, and I'm having to learn where I'm putting stuff, because if not, stuff will, I wouldn't say get lost, but you, you have to search for it or whatever. So... That's my video for today, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.
Oh, oh, oh.